Yeah, I heard people come to the game at night, so that should tell you how much I uh, care for this city and you know, just growing up here and being catching the subway down to the MCI Center at the time as a kid watching the game. So you know, I'm very fortunate and blessed to come back here and play. Every part of DC is better than my heart, so uh, yeah, looks forward to playing tonight. Speaking of DC, if, if Barry Form were to lose the Goodman League, what would that mean to you? I'll be devastated. You know, it's been there for so long. Before I was born, you know, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out. You work out with uh, you work out with Hanif Hill. I have before, yeah. What, what's what's it like working on him? Uh, I know he's connected with a lot of local yeah. ballers. Yeah, I mean he's got his work his way up, and guys guys trust him, and he can uh, definitely help a lot of players get better. And I worked out with him only a few times, and uh, definitely got my game better. So, yeah. Guys from the area who's uh, doing good things. I know a lot of high school kids now are doing individualized um, workouts, you know, focused on college and growth. Did you take that route when you maybe realized that you had a future? Ah, uh, you know, I, it's a little bit more advanced as far as the workouts and things guys working on now than it was you know, when I was in high school. It made me sound old, but, you know, a few years does uh, make a difference. But, you know, I was just. Just thinking about just trying to get better by the day, you know, not worry about the future. And, uh, you know, so every time I stepped on the court, I was just trying to figure out how I can grow each and every day. But you didn't have like individual workouts with trainers and not, no, not really. I mean, I just I hone my skills by playing one on one. I worked out, you know, sometimes, but not as much as you know these kids work out now. It was just mostly one on one. You know, that's how I, you know, I got better. John Wall was just named to his first All Star game. Though. What about this game? Do you think he's improved the most this season? Well, just this is he's learning a lot from the point guard position. First of all, you know he had a lot on his shoulders coming in here. Guy has to be the guy to resurrect, you know, the Wizards. You know, he's a number one pick, a slide of pressure. He's doing a great job, man. John is like you know, my brother, and you know, I spent a lot of time with him this summer. He worked his tail off, so he's deserving of the All-Star nine. He's playing tremendous basketball right now. It's just his overall game, it's his jump shot is getting better, playmaking. Uh, he's being more of a leader, so you can see it. You can see it from just watching on TV that he's grown. Being from D.C., do you know Miles Rawls? And can you talk about him as commissioner of that league, of the Limit League? Yeah, I mean, I've known Miles since I was a kid, and just going up there and watching it since I was about eight or nine years old, watching that league and being able to play in it. Kind of, you know, helping to get out to to the country a little bit. So you know, yeah, me and Miles are close. You just said how important that was that this area is to you. Does that make like these past couple of years you've been here when you've lost? Does that make those even tougher compared to losing somewhere else? No, uh, losses happen in this league. You know, of course, you would love to win every game, but when we come back here, we seem we seem to lose. So hopefully that changes. But it's. It's a great day for me to come back and play here, you know, get to see my family, my friends. I got a bunch of little cousins that's going to be running around after the game. I'm excited to see them. I haven't seen them in a long, long time. You know, in this league, you miss all the big holidays and the birthdays, so it's going to be good to see them, uh, I think. But I think the win is like the you know, cherry on top, so, you know, hopefully we get it done. Kevin, you've talked, obviously, everybody's been fascinated about your scoring stretch, but you scored 30 points a lot of times before. What is the best part about what you're doing now in your life? Is it the efficiency? I mean, because you, you just been on top of your game so much. Right now. Well, I'm just, I'm letting the game come to me. I'm trying not to force anything. Uh, just trying to play off my teammates as much as I can. And not put too much pressure on myself. I'm trying to score over two or three guys. Or, you know, turn the ball over, trying to get into the lane and do too much. I'm just letting it come to me. And I think, you know, each and every game I'm growing in that area, just trying to figure out the best places to, you know, to score, to be aggressive, to make uh, plays for my team. You know, so each each game is different for me. I'm just trying to fill it out as the game goes along. Which attribute do you think is best, uh, just in terms of your ability on the defensive end? Length, speed, quickness, what do you think kind of makes you effective on that side of the ball? Uh, um, I think what's, what's most important as a fan is just knowing, knowing the guys you're guarding. And I think uh, just reading scout reports and watching film on guys, just knowing their tendencies has helped me a lot. This is using my length. I'm not the quickest guy laterally, um, but it's using my length and spacing guys and contesting shots. I think that's where I've grown a lot in testing. I still have a long ways to go, um, you know, stand down on pump fakes and not fouling. And, 
just staying solid. So, you know, like I said, I'm just learning day by day. Uh, but, I, you know, the best part about it, the refreshing part about it, is that my teammates and my coaches are allowing me on that end and trusting me to get stops. Um, you know. Coach, Coach talked about this, the chemistry that's developed between you and Serge. Is that two-man game just kind of become like second nature? Yes. I think that comes from the days of us cussing each other out in practice and close to throwing fists every day in practice. That's that's where that comes from. Um, you know, so we, we and me and Serge, we have a great relationship. He lives two. He, last year he lived two doors down from me, so we, I used to go to his house all the time and we talked about different things. And, you know, we aired everything out when we got you know we got into it. So you know, that's the great part about having the team. Um, is that it's really like brothers. You guys, we're going to fight some days and we're going to love each other some days. Um, but we were teammates. And, uh, you know, so Serge, Serge and I, you know, built that chemistry up. And Serge and Russ has great chemistry. It is growing. It's growing a lot. So glad he's on our team, man. He's a force. You may face him in Spain in the World Cup this summer. Do you look forward to that moment for the first time USA in Spain? Yeah, I look forward to kicking his ass. <laughs> um, I, know, I know you've seen just about every defense, but was that about as quick and as early as you can remember being double teamed last night? <laughs> yeah, it was to a point it was frustrating. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, get into a groove they wouldn't let me. My teammates did a great job of opening up that game for everybody. Jeremy, Reggie, Serge, of course. Perk started us off, did a great job of being aggressive. And, you know, so... Um, they, they opened it up for me and you know, was able to hit a few shots. But you know, once, once teams start doubling, it just got to be simple. Make the simple play, the easy play, and, and pass the ball. You know, that's, that's the most simple play you can make when the team, a double team is coming. Trust your teammates that they're going to make the right play. And our guys have been doing a decent job of it. Everybody, you know, everybody in these parts are always fascinated by the idea of one day, someday you playing. <laughs> Here, you even just at the end of your career, the last day, something is that something you even think about, or that doesn't? Or is it something with everybody else here thinks about, not you? I just told you I had about 100 tickets a day. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of money on tickets a day. Imagine if I play here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> but uh, like, I mean, I, I, I haven't thought, given it any thought. Uh, coming up here, and you know, like I said, taking a train uh, now. <laughs> Gallery plays Chinatown to, to come watch these games as a kid. You know, I, I never really thought about you know, coming coming home to play. I love Oklahoma City. Um, I love coming here and visiting. Hopefully, you know, we can change that and get a win tonight. But that's all I'm thinking about. Do you keep in Thank touch with Eric? Sorry, and if so, do you? What kind of advice would you give him? We got, we got a